You ever felt really tired or noticed changes in your weight or mood without understanding why? Or maybe someone you know is going through strange health issues, and you're trying to figure out what's going on. What if there was a way to unlock the answers to these health mysteries? Imagine a place where you could find solutions to questions about things like feeling anxious, losing hair, or not having energy. Well, get ready because we're about to explore the secrets of thyroid health. If you've been wondering about symptoms like a fast heart, hair falling out, or feeling worried, or if someone you care about is dealing with these issues, you're in the right place. Stick around for some important information about how the thyroid might be playing a role in these things. Your questions could finally get the answers they've been waiting for. Let's dive into the world of the thyroid and see how it affects our bodies. In the lively city where Nina, a dynamic and organized bank manager, thrived, a peculiar change started to unfold in her life. Despite her usual energy and punctuality in completing tasks, Nina began feeling an overwhelming fatigue that weighed her down. This new challenge brought not only tiredness but also peculiar sensations like numbness and tingling in her hands, coupled with constipation and unexpected weight gain. The discomfort extended further with soreness and weakness throughout her body, making each day more challenging. Emotionally, Nina found herself battling feelings of depression, and her body seemed to reject cold temperatures. Even her once healthy skin and hair became dry and coarse. Troubled by these mysterious symptoms, Nina turned to her general practitioner, GP, who, recognizing the complexity of her condition, referred her to a skilled endocrinologist. As an expert in hormonal health, I, the endocrinologist, delved into a comprehensive examination, including radiology tests, to uncover the root cause. The diagnosis revealed that Nina was grappling with hypothyroidism, opening the door to a journey of recovery and renewed well-being. Hypothyroidism is a condition where there isn't enough thyroid hormone in your bloodstream and your metabolism slows down. Hypothyroidism happens when your thyroid doesn't create and release enough thyroid hormone into your body. This makes your metabolism slow down, affecting your entire body. Also known as underactive thyroid disease, hypothyroidism is fairly common. When your thyroid levels are extremely low, this is called myxedema. A very serious condition, myxedema can cause serious symptoms, including a low body temperature, anemia, heart failure, confusion, coma. This severe type of hypothyroidism is life-threatening. In general, hypothyroidism is a very treatable condition. It can be managed with regular medications and follow-up appointments with your healthcare provider. The thyroid gland is a small, butterfly-shaped organ located in the front of your neck just under the voice box, larynx. Picture the middle of the butterfly's body centered on your neck, with the wings hugging around your windpipe, trachea. The main job of the thyroid is to control your metabolism. Metabolism is the process that your body uses to transform food to energy your body uses to function. The thyroid creates the hormones T4 and T3 to control your metabolism. These hormones work throughout the body to tell the body's cells how much energy to use. They control your body temperature and heart rate. When your thyroid works correctly, it's constantly making hormones, releasing them and then making new hormones to replace what's been used. This keeps your metabolism functioning and all of your body's systems in check. The amount of thyroid hormones in the bloodstream is controlled by the pituitary gland, which is located in the center of the skull below the brain. When the pituitary gland senses either a lack of thyroid hormone or too much, it adjusts its own hormone, thyroid stimulating hormone, or TSH, and sends it to the thyroid to balance out the amounts. Hypothyroidism can affect people of all ages, genders, and ethnicities. It's a common condition, particularly among women over age 60. Women are generally more likely to develop hypothyroidism after menopause than earlier in life. The difference between hypothyroidism and hyperthyroidism is quantity. In hypothyroidism, the thyroid makes very little thyroid hormone. On the flip side, someone with hyperthyroidism has a thyroid that makes too much thyroid hormone. Hyperthyroidism involves higher levels of thyroid hormones, which makes your metabolism speed up. If you have hypothyroidism, your metabolism slows down. Many things are the opposite between these two conditions. 
If you have hypothyroidism, you may have a difficult time dealing with the cold. If you have hyperthyroidism, you may not handle the heat. They are opposite extremes of thyroid function. Ideally, you should be in the middle. Treatments for both of these conditions work to get your thyroid function as close to that middle ground as possible. Hypothyroidism can have a primary cause or a secondary cause. A primary cause is a condition that directly impacts the thyroid and causes it to create low levels of thyroid hormones. A secondary cause is something that causes the pituitary gland to fail, which means it can't send thyroid-stimulating hormone, TSH, to the thyroid to balance out the thyroid hormones. Primary causes of hypothyroidism are much more common. The most common of these primary causes is an autoimmune condition called Hashimoto's disease. Also called Hashimoto's thyroiditis or chronic lymphocytic thyroiditis, this condition is hereditary, passed down through a family. In Hashimoto's disease, the body's immune system attacks and damages the thyroid. This prevents the thyroid from making and releasing enough thyroid hormone. The other primary causes of hypothyroidism can include thyroiditis, inflammation of the thyroid, treatment of hyperthyroidism, radiation and surgical removal of the thyroid, iodine deficiency, not having enough iodine, a mineral your thyroid uses to make hormones, in your body. In some cases, thyroiditis can happen after a pregnancy, postpartum thyroiditis, or a viral illness. In most cases, women with hypothyroidism during pregnancy have Hashimoto's disease. This autoimmune disease causes the body's immune system to attack and damage the thyroid. Pregnant people with hypothyroidism may feel very tired, have a hard time dealing with cold temperatures and experience muscles cramps. Thyroid hormones are important to fetal development. These hormones help develop the brain and nervous system. If you have hypothyroidism, it's important to manage your thyroid levels during pregnancy. If the fetus doesn't get enough thyroid hormone during development, the brain may not develop correctly and there could be issues later. Untreated or insufficiently treated hypothyroidism during pregnancy may lead to complications like miscarriage or preterm labor. When you're on birth control pills, the estrogen and progesterone inside of the pills can affect your thyroid binding proteins. This increases your levels. If you have hypothyroidism, the dose of your medications will need to be increased while you're using birth control pills. Once you stop using birth control pills, the dosage will need to be lowered. In some cases, there can be a connection between untreated hypothyroidism and erectile dysfunction. When your hypothyroidism is caused by an issue with the pituitary gland, you can also have low testosterone levels. Treating hypothyroidism can often help with erectile dysfunction if it was directly caused by the hormone imbalance. The symptoms of hypothyroidism usually develop slowly over time, sometimes years. They can include feeling tired, fatigue, experiencing numbness and tingling in your hands, having constipation, gaining weight, Experiencing soreness throughout your body can include muscle weakness, having higher than normal blood cholesterol levels, feeling depressed, being unable to tolerate cold temperatures, having dry, coarse skin and hair, experiencing a decreased sexual interest, having frequent and heavy menstrual periods, seeing physical changes in your face, including drooping eyelids, as well as puffiness in the eyes and face having your voice become lower and hoarser, feeling more forgetful. If your hypothyroidism is not treated, you could gain weight. Once you are treating the condition, the weight should start to lower. However, you will still need to watch your calories and exercise to lose weight. Talk to your healthcare provider about weight loss and ways to develop a diet that works for you.